Ladies and gents, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. It's time for another gear demo review slash review, whatever you want to call it. Hey, but this is the piece of gear that we're going to be looking at today uh, from the nice folks at Laney. It is the LA Studio Super Group based 3 watt all tube amplifier featuring built in two notes, reactive load box, and Dyne impulse response technology. That was a mouthful. Okay, basically what you've got here is an all-tube three-watt amplifier that you can plug into a cabinet. It's very vintage style. Um, you've got a simple set of controls here with a gain and then a four-band EQ, just like the great old British amps from the 60s. You've got a presence, bass, middle, and treble. You've got four inputs there. There's a treble channel and a bass channel. The top inputs are a little lower gain for a little more headroom, and the bottom inputs are a little higher gain. You can also jumper the channels if you want to, jumper the treble channel to the bass channel, or vice versa, and get some blended sounds. But long story short, you've got those four inputs there. You've got a treble ear side, and you've got a bass ear side. Nice for being able to plug in different pedals into the amp. You know, maybe you want to hit it with a fuzz and it doesn't sound great into the treble channel, but into the bass channel, it'll sound glorious. You've also got a brake switch here on the front. That is an attenuator separate from the load box that allows you to actually switch the amp from three watts all the way down to 0.1 of a watt for like bedroom volume. And as we all know, even three watts can actually be pretty loud. So you've got a very vintage style amplifier. The front end supposedly based uh, very much on the old supergroup amps from the 60s that uh, folks like Tony Iommi made famous. And to me, the amp has a very, very sort of mid 60s British sound to it. It really reminds me of a kind of JTM 45 sort of sound. It's really great on edge of breakup or for cleaner stuff. And it even shares some characteristics with like late 50s Fender basement amplifiers, which is what the JTM 45 was based on. And that's really the tones that I'm hearing out of this amp. It's got a nice, full, kind of vintage character to it. And it's great to hit it with pedals. You can really use the different pickups on your guitar, or switch pickups, and you get a lot of different tones out of the amp. Cleaner sounds, more edge of breakup, or more crunch sounds. Now, it's not a metal amp. You're not going to turn it up and get high gain, tight, you know, blistering distortion out of it. But that's not what it's designed to do. It's designed to be really true to the old supergroup amps that Laney made in the 60s. Now that's not to say that it can't do metal, it's just, if you're going to do metal, you got to hit it with a pedal. I know, that was dumb and it rhymes, but it's true. You want to do metal, you're going to hit it with a pedal. So long story short, you've got a real vintage tube amplifier as far as the tones go. But now you've got this other modern tech, built-in load box. On the back, you've got an XLR output that you can take out and run straight into your recording interface, and then add some two notes, impulse responses, and speaker simulation. The amp's got a six position rotary switch on the back that will allow you to switch between six different presets. So there's some stuff loaded up there from the factory, but you can go in there and actually change those presets to whatever you want. How do you do that? Well, there's a USB port on the back, plug a USB cable in there, go into your computer, load up two notes, torpedo remote software, and now you can get in there and do some deep editing and tweaking of the impulse responses for different cabinet sounds. You can switch up the virtual microphones. You can add some reverb. You can do some EQing. And then it's all savable as presets. You can store it. You can store it in those six memory locations if you like. And then what you'll have is presets right built into the amplifier. You can take the amp anywhere you go. You don't need to bring a computer or anything like that. Let's say you're going to a session in a friend's house or something or a full-blown studio. Go there and just give them that XLR out and you'll have your favorite six cab sounds all dialed up there just using that switch on the back of the amplifier. Now there's also MIDI. So if you want to be able to actually recall presets via MIDI, if you want to get like more sophisticated with your presets and be able to do that via switcher or something, you can do that. I didn't do that in this video. Now I'm gonna play a little bit more through the amplifier, turn the knobs, the controls. Mainly in this video, I'm doing everything through the Dyn-IR. So you're hearing the XLR out go right into my recording interface. But I also wanna show you what it sounds like through a cab. So I actually recorded a little bit where I'm playing uh, through the cabinet and also through the Dyn-IRs at the same time. We're gonna AB those two sounds so you can hear how close they are. They're really quite close, very similar. But yeah, I'm mainly in this video doing the, the direct out and recording all these sounds direct. And I think you'll hear uh, when you hear these tracks soloed out side of the mix and everything and also just when I play more through it like how much it really sounds like a mic'd up cabinet with the, the great two notes uh, Dyn IRs. I wasn't afraid to hit the amp with pedals in this video at all because that's kind of the way it's designed to be used I think. I mean I did some stuff that was just dry bare bones only the amp but also recorded some tracks where I'm hitting it with various boosts and overdrives and stuff because that's what you're going to do in practice. So I'm going to detail that uh, and what I used coming up here in just a second. I also hit it with an Echoplex and really tailed out the feedback on the last note of the solo. <laughs> so that 
was cool. So the amp responds great to pedals, just like a good vintage amp would. You know, they're great pedal platforms. Okay, so let's get on with it. Here we go. It is the Laney LA Studio. <laughs> So I'm going to start with this sound that I dialed in, basically the sound and the setting that I was using for the first parts on the song at the beginning of the video. And then I'm just going to kind of turn some knobs and just kind of experiment uh, with where we get with just some simple changes of the controls. <laughs> So I just went back and listened to what I recorded using the real cabinet out in the room and the part that I'd recorded using the Dyn IRs of my, my very similar cabinet uh, uh, that we modeled. And I, it's they're really close. I mean, the reality is I think I could make them 
almost identical by just tweaking the mics. The um, the Dyn IR version sounds a little bit darker, um, but that's probably because I've got the virtual mics moved out a little more to the edge of the speaker. So long story short, I mean, the basic color is there. It's really, really, really similar to my live cabinet that I have out in the other room. So I just think it's really cool that you're able to, to replicate uh, the, the whole recording chain essentially and get so close um, with essentially no need for volume or any extra equipment like microphones and mic pre's or any of that stuff. I mean, just with the, the XLR coming right out of the LA studio going into your recording interface, you can get a really, really good pro recorded sound. So I just did a part where I'm actually running into the low gain bass input and using the amp as a pedal platform. So for this, I've got the volume quite low on the amp, just over two on the gain control. And uh, I'm using a 5150 overdrive from EVH, and I'm just using it to get a tough kind of, you know, Marshall-y tone, essentially, or EVH tone, I guess. Uh, if I turn off the pedal, this is the clean sound. It's just very dry. You know, straight up clean amp and turn it on the pedal. <laughs> Essentially using it, clean pedal platform, low gain input into the bass channel. So I'm just starting to play the leads on the song, and uh, for this, I've got a few different pedals stacked. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Let me see here. I've got on my Echoplex Delay. I've got on Duke of Tone um, in the distortion mode, and uh, I've got a uh, Archer pushing that. So if I turn all those things off, it sounds like this. <laughs> So let's turn on the Ducatone first. And then I'll turn on the Echoplex. And then I'll turn on the Archer. So this is giving me my stacked pedal, you know, goodness going into the uh, edge of breakup sound. I'm jumpering the channels. One last thing there. I'm kind of digging this actually in the, in the amp, doing the, the channel jumpering thing. It just kind of gives you the, the best of all the worlds, it sounds like. Once again, if I turn off all the stuff. That's the sound. If I pull the jumper, you'll hear what it sounds like. So I've got the guitar plugged into the um, the top input here in the high channel, in the treble channel, and that gives me kind of a uh, less gain sound. As soon as you plug in a cable here, I hear the gain bump pump, so it's doing something switching-wise. And giving me the higher gain mode. And then when I plug in up here, you know, getting the blended with the, with the, the bass channel. It sounds really good right there, I think. Like, uh, that's, that's just a nice basic tone that you can then use to, to hit with pedals as I'm doing here. It's interesting, I set up the sound without really checking the gain staging or anything like that. I'm noticing when I'm hitting the, uh, the uh, Duke of Tone on that I'm getting a, a level drop, but whatever, it sounds good in the track, so it worked cool for the part. <laughs>
thanks for watching my video on the Laney LA Studio. Great little three watt vintage style all tube amp that lets you record direct via a two notes integrated load box and Dyne IRs. They call it a real plug-in. I get that. It's like bridging the gap between, you know, vintage tube amps and modern recording tech. And you know, let's not discount, you could use it live as well. Uh, you know, demand for quiet stages these days and everything. You plug it into a little 112 or something on stage and have a little bit of sound coming out of a cab, but also take the XLR out straight to the PA and rock with it live. With some great cap sounds going to the PA, no mic required. Hit it with your pedals, set it up on the edge of breakup, use your pickup switch on your guitar, roll up and down. You can check it out further, the link you see down there in the video description below. Click there and it'll take you to more info about the Laney LA Studio 3 watt all tube amp with built in load box and IRs. Thanks for watching you guys. Please hit the subscribe if you haven't, hit the little bell beside the subscribe so you get an alert when I put out new videos. I appreciate you being here. Hey, I'm Pete Thorne. Take care, over now. Mm -hmm.